hi everyone ravi this side welcome to engineering atta so today i am going to cover the topic what is jenkins pipeline how we can build our jenkins pipeline everything i will tell you in this video so let me go to the next slide and let me tell you what is pipeline so in jenkins a pipeline is a collection of events or jobs which are interlinked with one another in a sequence so it is nothing but it is a interlinked connection of the uh, independent jobs or events so you can see in the below image we have a uh, different jobs commit is one job build is one job test is one job stage is one job deploy dev or qa is one job so you can see uh, all these jobs are interlinked like one job will be performed after another one so once the commit is done then the build job will trigger then the test job will trigger then the stage one will trigger and then deployment will done so these are the jobs these are interlinked with each other and one job is done then after the other job is picked up so this is what the jenkins pipeline and i will be creating one similar kind of jenkins pipeline uh, where i will create different jobs and then i will try to interlink them so in this approach we are going to follow the declarative approach of creation of uh, jenkins pipeline there is a, another approach of a scripted uh, approach so we are not following that we are going to use the declarative approach of creation of jenkins pipeline so let's get started so let me uh, up my jenkins so let me go to the jenkins var file location open a command prompt here and then run the command java minus jar jenkins dot var okay so it will make our jenkins up and then we can go to the browser and log in so the jenkins will be up on the default port number which is 8080 so let me log in there let it up first so you can see jenkins is fully up and running and then let me refresh this you can see the login page has come up now let me log in okay so here what i will do i will try to uh, create three different jobs and then try to create a pipeline using that so i will be creating three different jobs. let's say dev uat and production okay so once the dev job is completed then after the uh, uat job will trigger and then after the production job will trigger so if the dev job is failing then the production and U uat job will not trigger so i will create a pipeline like that so we'll create three different jobs dev uat and production and we'll link all of them one by one in a sequence and then create a pipeline okay so let me uh, create a new job here so you can go to the new item and then uh, you can cho choose any of them so let me choose the maven project here i already have a project post to the git uh, you can see i am going to use this uh, project to create our jobs so let's say let me name this job like dev okay and dev job something like that of dev environment okay and maven project and then okay okay it will take a few second to create it then we need to do some configuration here so let's say it's a dev environment job okay now let me try to provide the github url of the project so let's say this is the url copy it i will i will uh, give the link of this github urls in the description of this video you can use it from there it's a simple project okay now let me go to the git and then provide the repository url so you can come here and then come to the code and then from here you can copy the repository url and then go to the dev environment paste it out here if you want you can provide your jenkins credential here i'm not going to use that 
now let me try to provide the poll ACM so we want to trigger our jobs each time we are committing our changes to the git okay so let me do that okay now what I'm going to do uh, go to the post steps nothing to do now let me try to add post step here so let's say it's a uh, invoke top level maven targets and the goal should be installed okay and then apply and save so our first job is created which is dev job and what I'm going to do now I'm going to create the second one so I think the build for this job will start automatically here uh, till then let me create a second job so similarly you can create the second job you can come here come to the new item and then go for maven provide let's say it's a UAT environment okay let's say okay provide the configuration here okay I'm using the same project so let me try to provide the URL and then go to the git source code management and then provide the repository URL which is dot git here okay and then policium let me trigger the build for each commit so now come down add post build step invoke top level Maven projects Maven targets and then the goals should be installed here okay now apply this save it so we are done with the creation of the second project as well now let me create the third one so go to the dashboard new item and then let me create the prod environment here okay okay let me provide the description prod env job something like that github project url okay and then a repository url okay policium okay now go down and go for the post build step invoke top level maven targets and provide the goal install and then apply and save so we are done with the creation of uh, our jobs now let me go to the dashboard and show you what all jobs we have created we have created this uh, prod dev and UAT you can see the build for uh, dev has done and prod and UAT is still going on so let it build first then I will try to create the uh, pipeline for this so to create a pipeline what you need to do you need to have one build pipeline plugin so if you don't have you can go to the manage Jenkins and then go to the plugins manage plugin and then from there you can install it so I already have installed so you can go to the uh, let me show you what plugin it look like so go to the install plugin and then you can search for the build pipeline okay so you can see this build pi pipeline plugin this plugin you need to install okay if it is not installed you can go to the uh, available plugin and then search for it so I already have installed it so it is coming under the install plugins if it is not installed for you then you can come to the available plugin and search for it build pipeline it will come here and then thereafter you can uh, click this option install without restart and then you are good now let me go to the dashboard and then create a pipeline for it so you can come here and then you can uh, you you can see this plus icon you can click on this new view and then this will come build pipeline will view will come so let me select this and then provide the build 
pipeline name so let's say the pipeline name I'm going to use as a uh, pipeline Jenkins demo pipeline demo pipeline now let me create this here you can provide the description let's say Jenkins pipeline for demo okay now go down so this is the initial job that uh, it's already selected you can provide what initial job you want to trigger so this is initial job for me okay and uh, now go down go down and then you can provide okay let apply nothing to change and then okay so you can see uh, it has created one pipeline and uh, this pipeline is called Jenkins demo pipeline and this is this description for that and it has only one job now now let me try to add the another job in sequence so after dev I want to trigger the UAT job and then after that production so how we can do that so let me go to the dashboard and then open up the UAT here okay now you can go downside let me do to go to the configuration of UAT so now go down go down here you can see this option build trigger and inside that there is an option called build after other project are built so you can select it here so let's say the first project that we want to build is dev environment and after that the UAT will trigger apply and save it similarly what you can do you can go for the production as well so let me go to the dashboard open up the production configuration and then there we need to do this configuration so open the configuration and then go down go to the build trigger and then build after other project are built and let me provide the UAT here and then okay then apply this and then save it so we are done with the creation of our pipeline now let me go to the dashboard and then show you what is the pipeline looking like so this is the pipeline Jenkins demo pipeline so you can see we have created this pipeline uh, and the jobs are there in the pipeline first is the dev and after that UAT and after that environment so if the dev is successful then UAT will trigger and then the production will trigger if the dev is failing then it will not trigger the UAT and production so let me try to uh, run the dev first so go to the dev dashboard and then go to dev and then try to run the dev so let me try to build now so I'm building the dev and then in the pipeline uh, you can see the dev is started building and if the dev is successful then UAT will trigger and then after that the production build will trigger and if the dev is failing then UAT will fail and production will fail so this is how the pipeline is looking like so let me show you so we need to wait for seconds and then once the dev, is, dev build is completed then UAT can start so let's wait so you can see the dev is successful now and then now it will go to UAT and in few seconds UAT build trigger will start just wait for it you can see uh, I just refreshed it and you can see this UAT build is started once the UAT will be up and completed then it will go to the production let me refresh this okay so UAT is done now so it will pick up the production build you can see it has picked up the production build and we can see that production build is also done so 
first the day build was done then uat and then production let me try to show you scenario where dev is failing okay so let me go to the application let me open the application and then put some compile time error there and then we'll see so where is that jenkins job application i think let me open it okay so here let me try to manually make some con uh, compile time error so you can see i have removed this uh, i'm just making the name of the class like uh, jenkins job application i'm removing the n from here so that it can get the compile time error because we are using this class here so let me try to push this error code so open the git desktop let me try to commit this okay let me push it once we'll push it to the git then it uh, the build will automatically trigger because in the cron expression in the pole acm we have provided like that so let me go to the jenkins and then show you okay let me refresh this or you can come to the dashboard and you can also see in some few seconds it will pick up the build for the dev and then You can see uh, there is a four four build are in the queue. So let me go to the Jenkins. You can see in the pipeline the dev build is started. Okay. So once the dev will build will be uh, failed, then it won't trigger the UAT and the production build. So you can see Dave is failed. Now let me refresh and wait for a few seconds. So you can see UAT build is not picking up because the Dave build has failed. Because we have created a pipeline in such a way that once the Dave build is done, then only the UAT and the production will happen. So this is about the Jenkins pipeline guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content.